We are learning more about an investigation into claims that an upstate community college monitored emails, broke bylaws, and created a toxic work environment. A new report says it caught one Spartanburg Community College official in several lies. Our Peyton Furtado joins us live from Spartanburg with the details on this, Peyton. Carol, yeah, the new report from the, Spart the South Carolina Inspector General's office uh, debunked some claims but also uncovered some lies. In this report, they say the current provost lied to media, the public, and under oath to South Carolina officials. In April, Spartanburg Community College's administration disbanded the faculty senate just before members voted against a new policy requiring they spend more time on campus. This, this is not an eight to five job. <laughs> you need flexibility. You're dealing with emails during the evening. You're dealing with emails over the course of a weekend. Dr. Bruce Dellenbeck has worked here 33 years. He says soon after this, several outside organizations, including the South Carolina Inspector General's office, opened up investigations. It found that the administration had lied on several occasions. The inspector general found Dr. Lisa Satterfield, then the VP of Academic Affairs, now the provost, lied to media and the public, saying the college doesn't monitor emails and she didn't ask campus police to look into the faculty senate president when in fact she had and they did. The report also detailed her lying to state officials under oath, saying they had not investigated Dr. Dillenbeck. The inspector general subpoenaed the college president to confirm. Once they got it, the president, Dr. Michael Makota, conceded that there was an investigation uh, into the Senate president and that the statement that the VP delivered was, in his words, inaccurate. The report said administrators broke no law or bylaws investigating faculty, monitoring emails, or dissolving that faculty senate, but it went on to address the lies. And they also recommended that an HR inquiry be conducted uh, and punishment meted out to those who gave false statements to the media. If you've got a VP lying under oath, you've got a president shielding her who has got to be subpoenaed, you know, that lack of integrity would have gotten anyone else fired at the college. We reached out to Spartanburg Community College administrators about the report. They respond, a spokesperson responded with a commission statement saying in part, the commission completely and unequivocally supports the leadership of Dr. Michael Makota and the members of his administration. We spoke with several faculty members under the condition that we keep them anonymous. We're going to have their full statements as well as the full statement from the school on our website, WYFF4.com. But for now, live in Spartanburg County, I'm Peyton Furtado, WYFF News 4.